Hey guys, so welcome to the danger zone here. I've got major construction going on behind me. Oh my God, this is taking forever. Anyway, back to the task at hand. I am making pumpkin spice overnight oats for breakfast tomorrow morning and I just kind of thought that I would take this opportunity to run through with you my recipe. So I'm using a half cup of Rogers porridge oats. Now this is a blend. So it's oats, oat bran, wheat bran, and flaxseed, but any really kind of like large flake oats will do. The little ones, like the quick oats, really aren't that fabulous because they kind of just get like super mushy. I also like this one, only oats. They're really kind of like a hearty, dense oat. So half a cup in the bowl. And uh, so I'm going to add all my, um, my dry ingredients first. Then I'm putting in a half a scoop of vanilla protein powder. And I'm using my infusion right there. Um, a little bit of, because I don't have any woo, pumpkin pie spice blend, I'm just gonna make my own. And I'm not measuring, I'm just like a little bit of cinnamon, dumping in whatever. A little bit of nutmeg, a little easier on the nutmeg because that's pretty potent and go easy on the cloves, just a sprinkle and a bit of ginger to kind of make that nice pumpkin pie taste. So give that a stir. And so then I am putting in a quarter of a cup of 0% Greek yogurt. So a quarter of a cup, in we go. And then I'm doing a quarter of a cup of pumpkin. This is just straight up pumpkin, like not, not pumpkin pie filling because that's full of all kinds of extra stuff. This is just straight up pumpkin and no added ingredients. So it's just pureed pumpkin. So in we go with that into the bowl. And, um, then I am adding cashew milk, unsweetened cashew milk, 25 calories per 100, no, sorry, per 250 mils. So I'm putting in a half a cup-ish, about a half a cup. And then of course, I'm putting in a little bit of vanilla. So pure vanilla extract. And that's it, honestly. So let's just give it a little zhuzh here and get it all mixed up. And oh no, I forgot. I'm putting in a packet of stevia. I always forget the freaking stevia. So I'm putting in one packet. We'll just kind of like sprinkle that in now and then get it all stirred in. And these are freaking awesome. It's gonna be a little bit runny, but that's what you want. Because as the oats sit overnight, they thicken up and absorb the liquid. And you're left in the morning with just like a really thick, yummy concoction. And okay, I'll show you what mine looks like. Woo, I'm trying not to spill. <laughs> I almost spilt that sucker. So yeah, that's like you can see, that's like super runny. Okay, so you can taste it if you want before you put it in the fridge just to make sure that it's sweet enough. I make mine the same way all the time so I know that's the, the right sweetness for me so I don't have to play around. So just cover over the saran wrap. In the fridge it goes. And then... You have breakfast already made, and I love this because it's, um, you know, some mornings I can hardly make coffee and hardly function. So <laughs> this takes away that whole factor of actually having to think about making breakfast. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in comments if you do try it, and I promise you will love it. Bye.